What's going on everybody? Respawn Gentleman here. So Legend Levels were just introduced into Dying Light 2 and today I'm going to break it all down and tell you everything you need to know about it. Let's get right to it. So here we are in the game. Now first off, in order to unlock Legend Levels, you have to be character level 9. If you're not character level 9, you will not have the Legend Levels yet. In order to reach character level 9, you do need to get maximum level in combat and max level in parkour that is the only way to reach level nine so you will have to max both of those out now uh, as soon as you reach level nine you'll gain access to this menu and so here's some of the cool things i'll tell you about the upgrades first so we start off we have the uh ronin which is damage to two-handed slash weapons we have slayer which is damage to one-handed slash weapons officer to one-handed blunt weapons brute for two-handed blunt weapons you've got sniper for crossbows Joker for throwable weapons, Hunter for bows, uh, we have Brawler for knuckle dusters, kicks, and punches, so kind of a parkour expert kind of thing, Survivor for faster recovery after landing safely, and then Engineer is damage for all explosive throwables. So those are kind of the things you can upgrade, and I'll show what kind of that looks like here in just a minute, all the percentages and things. Uh, but here's the rewards that you can get. There's these exclusive outfits. So as soon as you reach level legend level one, you'll get the bandit legend outfit, which looks like this. Uh, looks pretty sweet. That weapon is from a previous video on the uh, post oppo set. So if you're curious about that, I'll leave it linked in the description below. But uh, I kind of like the look of this. Uh, it looks pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Uh, when you reach level 50, you get the renegade legend, which makes you look just like the renegades you've been fighting. And honestly, I love the look of this one. It's not my favorite one but it is definitely up there um, then for reaching level 100 you get the runner legend which looks really really cool i like the the way that the, like especially on the hood where you got the black and blue kind of checkered on there um, this one looks pretty awesome in my opinion but the best one is the level 250 so the max level skin is the night runner legend now if you've actually completed the game with the night runner ending you may actually recognize this outfit because this is actually what is worn by the character you see in the ending cutscene he'll be standing like on top of a roof and you'll see him grappling hook away this is that outfit so it's super awesome i'm glad they added this in the game and i can't wait to reach level 250 to get this outfit now moving on to the chests we do have three different chests for the bronze chests, you'll get this anywhere from level 2 all the way to level 50, or level 49, I should say. You will get a bronze chest. All of these give you a random legendary weapon and a pack of resources, whether it's uh, materials, trophies, or mutation samples. It doesn't really matter, they just give you a little bit. Then from level 50 all the way to level 99, you'll be getting the silver legend chests, which will give you... Again, same kind of thing, a legendary weapon and a pack of resources. And then from level 100 all the way to 250, you'll be getting the gold legend chests, which will give you, again, legend weapons and a pack of resources. So just to kind of show you some of the legend weapons uh, I have obtained, which I did from the bronze, I have gotten this Soul Reaper Axe, which after modding it, put it at 684 damage. So yes, you can actually do more than 633 damage. I'm really, really glad they increased that. Uh, same thing with this one, the Timmy's Terrifier, which looks super cool. The thing with this is I've seen that uh, you can see here, I've got two Soul Reapers. So there is a chance you could get the same one multiple times. Um, so there is that possibility. Uh, the other thing is that I have seen that you can get at least up to 780 damage on a weapon. I don't know if, it, if there's anything higher than that, but that is the highest that I have seen so far in the game. So now you might be curious, how do you actually level up your legend level? So if you go hover over this top bit, I know I'm covering it up a little bit, but basically it says that the legend points uh, replace XP as rewards throughout the game. Each level up grants a point that can be used to upgrade any of the legend upgrades as well as legend chests and exclusive outfits. So every time you level up, it will give you a chest. And if you reach a certain milestone point, then you'll also get an outfit. And then uh, it says after reaching level 50, depending on the difficulty setting, if you die, your progress towards the next level will be reset by 75% of legend points. Basically, this is the way they had it in the first game. So if you are working towards like leveling up and you die, then you lose all progress towards that next level. Um, it's something to make it a little bit more challenging, uh, something you really want to try not to die, basically, so you can keep all your experience 
and uh, that's that's what that is if you're curious so there's three or four different ones there's the bronze legend uh, there's the silver legend the gold legend I'm not sure what the 250 is called I'll have, have a screenshot pulled up here in just a minute um, the other thing if you want to level it up there have these difficulty bonuses and co-op bonuses so with the difficulty bonus if you're playing on easy it's a times one bonus if you're playing it on normal it's a 1.5 bonus and if you're playing it on hard like you can uh, you can't really see it behind me too much but it's a 2.25 xp bonus so you want to play this on the hardest difficulty so that way you can get as much experience as possible as well as there is a co-op bonus which you can kind of see a little bit to the left of me that is the more players you have the bigger the bonus now i don't 100 percent know what the full bonus is for four players I've had someone tell me it's 1.2. That doesn't quite make sense to me. It might be bugged out, but basically the the one of the best ways now I haven't tested this and I'll have a video talking about how to le level up legend levels coming up later, but probably one of the best ways to level up is play on hard with three other people and just go to nighttime, get a level four chase and just start killing volatiles nonstop. That's probably going to be your best bet in order to level up the fastest. But again, I will be having a, a video talking about all of the best ways to level up the legend levels. But right now, that seems to be the most efficient way to do it. Um, even if you're solo, try playing on hard using your toughness boosters, regen boosters and muscle boosters, as those will help you kill those vile tiles so much faster um, and get you those bonuses and get you leveling up faster. So you can kind of see it on the screen here. My, my face is covering up a little bit and I do apologize about that, but the 250 you're known as a luminous legend and you have everything in total. You'll get a total of 48 bronze chests, 50 uh, silver chests and 151 gold chests. Each one of the, um, ranks for the individual skills will get you to level 25 in each of those and the percentages for those i'll, I'll show you here let me zoom in you've got uh 75 additional for all melee so every single melee will be 75 percent more powerful uh crossbows will do 25 percent more damage bows will do 50 percent more damage throwables will do 50 percent more damage and uh landing recovery is 100 percent. so basically you'll be able to essentially instantly recover from landing as long as you land safely you'll be able to hop back up and keep going um so that's kind of what those bonuses give you now one thing i will say is there is currently a bug in the game that some people are like joining a co-op game and going to sleep and automatically reaching level 250 um it's random it doesn't happen to everybody techland is working on a fix for it and uh if you do have that issue and you want to kind of reset it back to level one so you can actually play the game then uh definitely just reach out to techland as they're they should be able to reset that for you um but it just be aware that that can potentially happen to you while you're trying to level up your legend levels if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dying light content make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching see you guys next time